Brandon Davies is a returning senior, Tyler Haas a returning missionary. Together they plan to provide the one-two punch. The Cougar basketball team will need to be successful beginning Friday night. It's a pleasure to welcome both back to True Blue. Fellas, good to have you here. Thanks for having us. You ready to go? This is old hat for you. It's kind of a uh, <laughs> new hat renewed for you. Which of the two more eager for Friday night? Um, probably me, but I don't know. He, he's probably pretty excited, too. It's been like two and a half years, so <laughs> I think I'm pretty excited. Well, Brandon, you were just a kid when he left on his mission. Now he's back. How different is Tyler? Uh, he's, he's actually not, not too bad. You know, he, um, he's pretty much back to normal now. So. <laughs> well, now you're back, and, and Brandon's a man. So how different is Brandon? <laughs> uh, Brandon's changed a lot. Um, you know, he's still kind of the same goofball, but, oh, wow. but he's definitely matured a lot and, and grown up. These two exhibition games have been interesting because it, it, it looks like the team as a whole is a pretty together unit for having not played a whole lot together. Yeah, I mean, I think I think we've played we've played great, you know, we're we're more together, you know, this early in the season than I think we've been in the past and that's a good sign. How eager are you to get back under the lights and in a game that, that counts? It's been a few years for you. Uh, I'm, I'm very eager. I'm very excited about this team. Uh, I feel like we've worked really hard in the offseason, and it's a special group of guys. So it, it'll be fun Friday night. Well, Brandon, as we look at some of your highlights, Tyler, I'm going to ask you to, to what, what, what skills does Brandon have that, that, uh, that you see him taking this team to the next level? Um, you know, I, I feel like Brandon's a guy that draws so much attention inside, and he's such a, um, a great finisher, obviously, inside, and, um, and just makes everyone better when, when you're playing with him. And, uh, it's, he's a fun guy to play with, for sure. He does like the high percentage of dunk, which the fans appreciate. All right, Brandon, let's turn the tables now as we look at some of what Tyler has been up to in these two exhibition games back. What do you see out of Hawes that will really help this team? Um, Ty, is a, he's an unbelievable shooter, you know, and um, guys have to honor him. They have to send, you know, one or two guys at him, and uh, that definitely opens things up for all of us. And, you know, same thing goes for him. He makes everyone around him better. And, um, when he's knocking shots down, you know, we're, we're, we're hard to be beat. Now, Ty, you were saying as, as we look at some of the exhibition uh, highlights, uh, just getting out on the floor and hearing the crowd and, and all that had been such a, a long time for you. It's kind of fun, isn't it? It's awesome. No, it's great. That our fans are, are awesome, and we've had a good turnout in our, our preseason games, and so it, hopefully they keep coming. Where do you see, Brandon, the the Noah Hartsock points and rebounds being discovered in this team this year? Um, I think it's going to be, you know, spread out. You know, we have um, a bunch of new guys coming in that can hit that outside shot that Noah patented. And, um, you know, part of that falls in, you know, Tyler's hands and, um, you know, our bigs, other bigs and, and Nate and Augie, they're all capable shooters. You know, they, they got that mid-range game as well. This team didn't shoot the ball very well from the free throw line last season and uh, you as a freshman hit 91 percent seem to be back to your form i've noticed you shooting very well from the free throw line in these first couple of games did you spend a lot of time on that in the off season knowing that you're going to be at the line a whole lot this year and in the future if you get to play professionally yeah it's it's definitely something you know i try to work on every year and uh, just try to get better at it every single year and bring my percentage up and um, you know i've taken a lot of time to try to you know, perfected, and um, it's it's showing, it's showing now that and, the season's here. And it's okay when teams foul you, because you know, hey, if you can make free throws, you don't, you're not afraid to go to the line, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, that's that's part of it, just being confident in yourself, knowing you're going to get fouled, and um, you got to be able to, you know, put points on the board that way. Which of you two encouraged Carlino to shave his head for the season? <laughs> oh, you guys man. are the leaders of the team, so it had to come from one of you. No, he just walked into the locker room one day with that. I don't think we that, that was any of us telling him to shave it. Yeah, well, he's he's been playing great with the shaved head, so you know, hopefully, you know, if if that's what it takes for him to play <laughs> how he's playing right now, we're we're fine with it. Who's the funniest guy on the team? Ooh, Augie's pretty funny. Uh, Augie's kind of yeah, I'm Brasino. Yeah. yeah, he's he's kind of got that. Spanish accent still, <laughs> so we, we get a good laugh of it. He's down from Salt Lake sometimes. Community College. What about the most serious? You can't count yourselves. Who would be the most serious guy on the team? Probably Coach. Really? <laughs> coach, 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 coach Rose for sure. 
<laughs> you guys try to loosen them up a little bit? We, we try every now and then. You know, we'll, we'll throw some masks on for Halloween or something just to <laughs> try to loosen things up. The season's so long, but it starts Friday night. What will be the thoughts in the two of your heads as you run out of the locker room in front of the crowd for opening night? You know, for me, it'll just, I'm going to try and um, have it be the same as any game. Uh, we, I mean, Tennessee State's a really good team. We've got to be ready to go and ready to play. And but I'm, I'm ready to uh, and excited to run out on that floor. What about you? Um, you know, that, that it's go time. You know, they, this is where the games count. And, you know, I'm just excited to, you know, get things going and um, get things rolling. Looking forward to, you know, having a better year than we did last year and just keep improving. You kind of spearhead the team dance out there during the starting lineup. Did you come up with some new moves this year? <laughs> um, it's, it's kind of a spur of the moment thing, you know. It's, uh, I there's no really set schedule or what I'm going to do. <laughs> no so. routine per se. No, yeah. It's, it just happens. Yep. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Well, it'll happen Friday night live on BYU TV. We look forward to it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Dave.